You may already be cooking <laughs> breakfast for mom this morning on this Sunday, but we have some great ideas if you haven't. Yeah, and from hy is here with us yeah. to give us some tips on to make things a little bit healthier. Yes, well, I am always a person to say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Yes. But I also am I'm kind of on my mom about getting enough protein in her diet mm -hmm. because I think it's so important. So I love our dietitian pick of the month, which is Kodiak cakes, okay. which is a combination of waffles, pancakes, uh, muffin mixes that are all full of whole grains, but lots of great protein. Mm -hmm. Which is so important. It is. Right. It is. Right, and it's kind of a healthier, healthier start. I've never, I've actually picked up the box of these before. Yeah, they're and they taste great, and they're easy, and I love their waffles because you just toast them in your toaster, and we're going to make kind of a savory waffle today, mm. which adds some extra protein. Well, so we've yeah. got ricotta, we've got eggs, it's National Egg Month, so it's yeah. a great way to get some more protein too. That's right, and, and get, making it a more filling breakfast to kind of take you through yes. the day. Breakfast is so important to get you through the start of your day. It's such a healthy way to start it too. Exactly. Absolutely. So you want to put me to work? Because yes. I'll do it. Yes. Then we can talk about Actually, what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is going to be some ricotta cheese. You're just going to smear that on top of okay. the actual top of the uh, waffle and then we're just going to top it with some this is basically a very balanced meal you're going to have your carbohydrates with your waffles some ricotta cheese then you can put some slices of ham and some spinach on top so what made you think to do mm. that you know it, i kind of like a sweet and savory kind of combination so mm -hmm. these are cinnamon vanilla waffles yeah. and then you're going to put some eggs and then a little bit of maple syrup too so that kind of combines right. the sweet and savory my too. question is about the eggs because so many people are concerned about egg whites versus the egg yolk sure. i mean is it still pretty healthy to have the egg yolk mixed in with it absolutely okay. eggs are full of great nutrients that we don't get in a lot of other foods right. so that yolk is part of that component okay. so you want to do both for sure and people can safely have two eggs a yeah. day okay so definitely incorporate that into your diet and do you guys know how much protein a person could, should kind of happen a day. No. Isn't it your body weight? You, usually, or? I. it's a great kind of, that's perfect. So usually I take your body weight and divide that by two. Oh, okay. And that's how many grams a day that you should be consuming. Okay. There's, there's a lot of people who probably aren't eating enough protein. Exactly. Like, even if with a healthy full diet with people, right. that's, it's, it's not easy to hit. You kind of no. got to have a little bit of protein and just be conscious of it each meal. You right. do. And that's where this will kind of help because in two of those waffles, you actually get 12 grams of protein. That's really good. It's really good. I'm going to have to go uh, make a little purchase here. You with these, will, I think, actually, so. I'll give you a box. Oh, hey, home. that's even better. That'll that'll be that. perfect I will, for you I will to try take it that. Out at home. I, I, exactly. Well, mom's going to be coming up to visit me. She's not here. She's out of town, but she's going to be up here in about a month or so. So this is something I could spoil oh, with him. Oh, absolutely. You can, then you can combine it with some raspberries yeah. and the mamosa. That's Oh, oh, always oh. Fun too. Who can't deal without a mamosa, <laughs> right? So I'm telling you what, I, that was one of the first things I noticed when I walked in here. He's oh my gosh. Mamosa, yeah, yes. tell us about that, that you've kind of creatively uh, yeah. matched with this. So there's just a great product that we have in our store. It's a combination of your sparkling wine and then some fruit flavors, and it's just refrigerate it and serve it. And I just Sounds like really to good. accent it with a little raspberry. Of course you do, right? <laughs> so you got to make it pretty make it too, fancy. right? Yeah. <laughs> Dabbling, and that just kind of makes it a whole balanced meal, right? Absolutely. You have every <laughs> food group you possibly could imagine. So you are doing such a great job. You know, I'm really working. You've been <laughs> you teaching me about really presentation, good. so <laughs> I'm trying here. This is the best part. So syrup, that's where you can get into a little bit of a mess because of all the sugar. So exactly. what do you have for us today? So this is just 100% pure maple syrup. You don't need very much. Just a little splash on top because it's so rich in flavor. Yeah. And you do get some, you know, it's a very good added sugar, but mm -hmm. again, you don't need as much. So substitute, would it be a good idea maybe substitute honey in? For that you versus use honey. the syrup, because yes. that's something that I typically do. Sure. Is instead of mm -hmm. syrup, I love syrup, but I'll tend to put honey on it versus syrup. Yes, I like both. So oh, whichever but. floats your boat in flavor, definitely use that. Okay. Love mm -hmm. that you always have modifications for us, whatever the yes. recipe for yeah. whatever the goals are with the diet. If people want to find out more, where can they go? They can just go to hyvee.com or contact us dietitians at the store. We love to help you. Thank you so much, <laughs> and we'll be right back.